Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Ping. Um, so first of all, today is our staff and student field event, our BHS Olympics. Um, we're here to kind of celebrate the successful completion of this very difficult school year. Um, the staff will be playing against the students um, in games like dodgeball, tug of war, basketball, push-ups, sit-ups. Um, they'll have a, have a race, different kinds of things. Um, I'm sure that the staff will come out on top, as they usually do in these kinds of events. Um, I won't, I won't, uh, I'll go ahead and start with our lead. Our, our graduation ceremony will be next Friday, June 11th at 6 p.m. Um, we will be following the guidelines set out for a safe graduation by the California Department of Public Health and amended by the San Diego County of Office of Education. Um, Unfortunately, under those provisions, we need to limit attendance and create seating charts, among other requirements. Masks will be required, social distancing. We'll have some increased sanitation measures in place. Um, and we'll also be simulcasting the event via Zoom and posting it to, um, to YouTube soon, soon after the upload. So hopefully all families and their friends will be able to celebrate graduation, if not in person, at least uh, via Zoom and via YouTube soon afterwards. Um, we look forward to honoring the class of 2021 for all their hard work at this ceremony and that will be um, next Friday at 6 p.m. We're also going to be practicing with our seniors for that event on, uh, and on June 9th, Wednesday at 3 o'clock. Um, kind of before our, our last, right after our last ping meeting, um, we had scheduled our Roaring 21 senior event, our little prom alternative, um, which really kicked off kind of the the season of the of the senior, if you will, uh, the event was well attended. I think the staff and the students both had a great time. Um, we had a professional DJ. We had photo booths. We had decorations in the style of the Great Gatsby. The staff dressed up in their 1920s outfits. Um, spent the evening greeting, serving pizzas, um, just getting getting back in touch with with our soon to be graduating seniors, and it was it was a great event. Uh, at that same event, we honored our seniors with their senior awards, uh, including the very prestigious Legionnaire Award, which is given out to the two graduating seniors that most embody the traits BHS tries to instill in its graduates, including agency, leadership skills, compassion, kindness, and collaboration. This year's Legionnaires are Marlon Holmes and Joanna Suarez. Um, we made sure to hold the Roaring Twenties event outside, and again, we held to all pertinent COVID-19 restrictions. I'm also pleased to report that the testing for the 2021 school year is completed and went very well given all the requirements in place. Um, our juniors were invited to the multi-purpose room to take the CAS for English Language Arts and the Mathematics Diagnostic Placement exam on May 17th, 18th, 24th, and 25th. Um, at the last minute, we did not have to hold the California Science Test, um, so that was unfortunate, but um, we had a really good turnout for for these uh, tests and i was really impressed at you know really 90 percent of our juniors showed up to take these things and um i think that while they were there they took it very seriously they seemed to they seemed to take um the appropriate amount of time to get it done um i i have pretty good faith that these will be um, i'm sure affected by our time out because of covid uh, but at the same time i think that they're that the kids did um, the best they could on them. Once we have them, um, once we have the, re the results, those will be shared with students' families. Um, the Bonzel High School basketball team became league champions, defeating Bayfront Charter on Monday, May 24th. Um, they finished their 2021 season undefeated in league play. Um, on June 2nd, the team played in the CIF Division V playoffs and defeated the Coastal Academy. Um, today at 7 p.m., the, the Legionnaires will be taking on the Crusaders of St. Joseph's Academy at their place in round three CIF competition. If our Legionnaires win, uh, we'll have the opportunity to complete to compete probably at home again, although that's part of a part of a coin flip. Um, and it would be one more away from being CIF champions. So if we, if we win tonight, we're well on our way. Um, in addition to that, our Bonzel High School Esports Club 
played in their first off-season tournament on May 10th through the 14th. They played the game Rocket League against 17 other teams, including some of the big big high schools in our area, and they complete they 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 finished third overall. Um, given that we still haven't gotten the order that we made for esports, the 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 esports machines and proper um, mouse, mice, and uh, keyboards and what have you. Um, that's a pretty good showing, and it really bodes well for our competitive esports team next year. Um, the cross country golf and tennis teams also had a great season. Um, in golf, the team moved into more competitive league this year, but they held their own against much larger schools. Um, both cross country and golf had several kids move on to individual CIF finals. Um, which selects the best students, student athletes, in each of those comp in each of those sports for competition um, at, at the county level. Um, that's pretty much all I have. Um, update on our couple of couple of items, probably just to give an update on. Um, we are still looking for a CTE teacher, unfortunately. Um, we're in the very, very odd position that we've ordered all of our equipment and a lot of the stuff has started coming in for, uh, for our planned CTE program next year. So we have boxes and boxes of CTE equipment, including some robots and some, some drone planes and some things like that with kind of the, the, the plan that we were going to, um, um, you know, kind of develop those programs with the thought of having our first candidate in mind really running those things and we're still we're still in the process of looking for somebody to go ahead and fill those shoes we have um, going into going into next year we will have um, two new math teachers we'll have a new science teacher um, well of course we'll have that new CTE teacher we'll be filling our art position um, so we'll have a number of new teachers on our campus and I think that will be great for the growth of our school we'll certainly be able to be um, a lot more comprehensive and have a lot more programs that are going to fill the, the interest niches of our, of our students. Um, in addition to that, we are continuing to expand our programs with, with Palomar. We'll have a couple of different classes that we haven't been able to offer before, um, probably set up for, for spring rollout, but that'll be fun for our dual enrollment program kids to be able to take some additional courses. Um, we're still expanding our certificate programs. So for our doc design program, um, that we'll still have kids that are able to complete that, that CT certification. Hopefully we'll have our first cohort of kids that finish their Native American um, certifications next year as well. Um, so, so all the things are looking pretty, pretty good for our college program and our relationship with Palomar. Um, also an announcement, two of our staff members completed their master's degree. So Karina Calderon finished her, her master's degree um, last, last week in literacy and uh, Greg Hinchcliffe finished his as well. So congratulations to our Legionnaire staff for continuing to develop, go back and, and complete their own education for higher, higher levels of, of, of education and support for our kids. Okay. All right. Dan, do you have anything? No, I don't have a report, but I will have a, a complete one at our first meeting when we come back. Okay.